Hello and welcome everyone. It's Kathy Lee and I'm back with my fourth card for the November Craftology box from Country Craft Creations. This one is going to be a little bit unique in that we are going to do some embossing, use some embossing powder to make a snow effect on the background of our card. So um, what you will need is uh, a an 11 by four and a quarter card base and this is going to be a top folding card. Um, I'm using this peppermint chocolate, hot chocolate cut apart uh, from the Simple Stories collection. It's the Very Merry collection from the Craftology box and uh, this 3 by 4 card as well. Now this cut apart what I did is because I'm going to layer this with this die and you don't if you don't have this it's not a big deal because usually normally you can just use the cut apart without having to make any um, modifications to it but what I wanted to share with you is that this piece here I actually trimmed from the top of the cut apart um, and that was to allow my sentiment to show in the open space of my my um, Christmas tree or evergreen tree frame and then I just took that and put it at the end and put some score of tape to adhere it together for now uh, and then you'll need the red plaid uh, paper and this is four by five and a quarter I've inked all of my edges very lightly with uh, Distress Ink Walnut Stain and then I'm also using these pearl uh, snowflakes that are in part of the kit and then one of my stickers that says have, your, have yourself a merry little Christmas and I'm going to pop that up on some foam tape and then this is um, some seam binding that I had in my stash from Tammy uh, there's probably about a little 30 inches here but we're not going to use the whole thing so what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started I'm going to move all of this out of the way because we're going to do our embossing uh, first I'm going to uh, score my card get my score work here and this is again 11 inches so we're going to, we're going to score it at five and a half. Okay. Make sure the ends meet, and then burnish that edge. Okay, that's our card base. Okay, now for what we're going to do is we're going to take and I'm going to have to plug in my heat gun here and oh, I'm not ready so I'm going to go fast forward here okay so I've got my heat tool ready to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my embossing powder and I'm going to do small segments at a time. Um, I'm going to bring a paper plate. I have a paper plate with a, um, this is a flattened coffee filter. Um, and if you've never used this for embossing, these are like the best because they have natural um, anti-static properties. And when you're done, you just fold it put it back in and you're done. It's really, really easy and of course economical. So I'm going to put this over here and I'm just going to take this and a little spoon. You can use your fingers but I'm, I'll get this all over in my fingernails and that's not pretty. <laughs> okay so all I'm going to do is just do a light because I'm going to have most of the um, I'm just going to sprinkle it here. This is not adhered. Just put that 
here um, with any Versamark. So we're going to actually heat this from underneath the paper. You see how it melts? Those little dots. Okay, and see how it just melts it from underneath. We don't need all that in the middle because we're going to actually put this in the middle like that. So I'm just going to put just a little bit on a few corners. I'm not going to do it all the way around because um, we want it um, kind of an uneven because that gives it a little bit more character. So we're going to use this edge here and I'm going to leave that space open over there. And then again we're going to heat emboss from underneath. And there we have some snow, some snow effect. And that's going to be for our card. Okay. Now, we can move this aside. As I said, really easy. Nothing sticks to the coffee filter. And there's virtually no waste. I love about that. Okay, so with heat embossing, it's always going to make the paper warp a little bit. But once we get our okay, I forgot to mention because <laughs> this wasn't part of part of all my supplies. But um, I cut a three and three quarters by five inch piece of really really thin um, chipboard so that I can glue that to my my um, paper base that way it'll make it nice and flat after it's been heat embossed I meant to get this out earlier and I forgot all about it so now we're going to get our glitter glue I'm going to put it on here Okay, and we're going to put this down on here, and I I did um, ink the edges of this chipboard as well, in case you're wondering. So, that's going to make it nice and flat. You don't have to do this step, but um, I do like uh, nice, nice flat surfaces. For my cards so that will fit right on there like that and it looks even more dimensional okay so for the ribbon I'm basically going to create a square knot and then I might add another bow along with it so um, let's see and I'm going to put it around the this panel as well so let's see And I'm just doing, like I said, a square knot. Just like that. Square knots are really pretty. Okay, now I'll trim my tails. So what I'm going to do I'm going to put that right around this way and then this way and have it out that way but I need to make sure I can make 
make it tight. Okay, so I need it on the edge here. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim. And there's my square knot to put around my card. Now, this is going to. Um, there, okay. Because this is going to come in here like this on top of it. I need to trim my tails. I can't have a, I don't think, a real big bow on this card because my, it'll, it'll cover up my focal point and it'll get too overwhelming. So I want to put it about two thirds down, right about there, I guess here, if you can kind of picture that. And then, um, And then I'll just trim my tails. Okay, so that's about where I'm going to have my ribbon. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use some score tape. I'll start with a little bit of quarter inch. where I'm going to put my my knot right there I might catch it a little bit more And then I'm just going to going to put um, a couple pieces around the edge. For my tails. Pretty much sounds good there. There we go. It's a little bit shorter, that tail's too long. Okay, there we are. Now, if I can cut straight. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to put it right on here. So for that, I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Okay, try and get that as even as possible so I get a good eighth of an inch around. Okay, now I'll lay this here. Okay. Or take off first. I 
Okay. Get it as even as possible. I'm really just eyeballing. I don't do a lot of measuring, making sure it's all perfect because um, it's handmade. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put that on top of my that frame on top of my 3x4. I like this frame, it's really pretty. You can actually do so much with it. I you can cut out the um, if you don't, don't want to use the frame, you can cut out the trees and use them alone. Or if you just want the frame, you just cut the trees out and use the frame. Gives a little bit extra different options. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Try not get to get glue all over the darn place. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to need my um, glue gun for the little snowflake pearls, pearl snowflakes. Put one here, one here, on the outside of that so I can read the words, and one down here. Okay. And I just cut the little, um, the hooks off, the button hooks off with my, uh, Snippers. Tim Holtz took um, scissors. We'll take care of that too. <laughs> okay. And that is the front of the card. Okay. So now for the inside card. All I'm going to do is use some foam tape or foam, fun foam for my sticker and then I'm going to put my I got some glue on my head to get my little glue eraser out <laughs> put that in here just like that In, as much in the middle as I can get it. Okay. And then my sticker with a little bit of fun foam. And I'll use the tweezers for that. I'm going to put that just right here in an angle. Not too close to the top because um, it needs to fold there. And there's our card. Hope you enjoyed this last card. I'll be back with all kinds of other uh, tutorials and makes for you. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.